You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Ulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. Politician and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. I'll be on time today. Alhamdulillah. I'm late for the yesterday. Oh. 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 Oh.
What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. What do you see? Let us hope she is home. You will not pardon from my guest. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. The Postal Bureau. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies.
What? Wait, just a... <laughs> Find Aribs. Please note that your payment of fifteen dinars is overdue and must be no. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of After the honey drips from her lips, a Thalab leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thalab. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Silence your song of sin or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. I will go to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes. Rage as the ocean, I will sweeten your storm. Scorch as the desert, I will bathe in your heart. Strike as the cobra, but plunge in my breast. Soar as the dove, but a light in my nest. Where you go, there I'll go. Where you rest, there I'll rest. Be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove. All shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. 
I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone. How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Seyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. You don't show your face. Call out the shorta. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase.
I like mine. What that be? What do you think? Not again. You should bring him before the Mazalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by strict hero statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. <laughs> 